This video describes how to use and adjust Hawk's arms and legs. Let's begin by taking a look at the types and location of the various joints in Hawk. There are three joints in each arm, the shoulder friction slide joint, the arm twist joint, and the elbow bungee joint. The legs also contain three friction slide joints, the hip, upper knee, and lower knee. Each friction slide joint contains a mechanism that allows its resistance to rotation to be set from locked in place, to rotating with adjustable amounts of opposing resistance, to free moving. There are two types of friction slide joints, with the main difference between them being how you adjust the level of opposing resistance. The arm twist joints can be changed from completely locked to a ratcheting action that jumps from location to location when a force is applied to completely free moving. The elbow bungee joint allows the angle of bend to be clamped at a set position or free moving. Note that all joints in Hawk have a spring return action. When a joint is locked into position, then forcibly displaced from that position, it springs back into place. Next, let's take a look at the associated motion that corresponds to the joints. The arm can move up and down around the shoulder pitch axis. It can twist around the shoulder roll axis. At the elbow, the arm can bend back and forth. Each of the leg friction slide joints can bend a minimum of 180 degrees. The hip joint also allows the legs to splay apart. All the joints with the exception of the elbow require the 5 16 inch hex key wrench to make adjustments. The shoulder joint has two modes of operation. Mode 1 sets the shoulder into friction slide mode and allows it to rotate at a predefined opposing resistance. Mode 2 sets the shoulder locked in place. To set the mode, insert the wrench into the top hole of the shoulder facing into the body of Hawk. Turning the wrench clockwise all the way transitions the joint from friction slide mode to locked. The screw should turn without much effort. If you experience resistance before the end, it may be necessary to rotate the shoulder slightly to allow the internal components to line up. Turning counterclockwise several rotations will transition the mode back from locked to friction slide. Note that wrestling or grappling with the shoulder in the lock position can result in internal damage to the joint. Always set the arms to friction slide mode when doing groundwork. Typically one friction setting will work with most exercises. If you have the need to change the resistance, you will need to make those adjustments inside the shoulder. Start by using a Phillips head screwdriver and loosen the four binding posts in the shoulder cover. Note that the posts do not need to come out to be fully loosened. Remove the shoulder cover to expose the internal joints. There are three black Allen hex key bolts. The two outer tension screws set the resistance. The inner bolt locks the mechanism in place. Use the 3 16th inch hex key wrench to loosen the inner bolt to unlock the mechanism. Next, adjust the outer tension screws to set the desired resistance. Counterclockwise lowers the resistance. Clockwise raises it. When making adjustments, try to match the rotations on each outer screw equally. You should set the resistance slightly higher than you want, as locking the mechanism will cause the resistance to be slightly lower. Once you have the resistance set, tighten the locking bolt. Finally, replace the shoulder cover and tighten the binding post back into place. To adjust the arm twist joint, insert the wrench into the bottom hole in the shoulder facing into the arm. Again, turning clockwise makes the arm harder to twist going from free moving to ratcheting to locked. Turning counterclockwise loosens the joint. The elbow bungee joints can be set in place using two methods. For the first method, set the arm in a position slightly more bent than you want. Insert your finger into the bungee tube on the bicep between the bungee and the shoulder, then extend the arm to lock into place. To release, pull in the bungee till it snaps out of the lock. Let's see that again from the other side. Set the arm position, insert finger, and extend arm. 
to release pull on the bungee. The second method for setting the elbow bungee is similar to the first except you pull the bungee towards the elbow and extend the arm to set the lock. Once again, to release, pull the bungee till it snaps out of the lock. To change the resistance of the leg friction slide joints, insert the wrench into the desired joint to make the adjustments. As the wrench turns clockwise, the joint becomes harder and harder to slide until it is locked into position. Turning counterclockwise loosens the joint and it gets easier to slide until it is completely free moving. That's all the information you need to understand and use all the joints in Hawk. Enjoy!